face recognition using Eigen Faces method. My name is Karthik Reddy and I am a graduate student at the University of Florida. Why do we need face recognition? In today's world, the number of electronic transactions are always increasing and with it comes a need for faster and more reliable authentication system. Currently, for access to buildings and restricted areas, we use technologies like pins, badges, but these do come with their concerns. The major concern being we are not aware if the person to whom the pin and badge has been authorized is the same one who is using it as it can be easily passed around or stolen. This has given rise to biometric identification being used in a whole host of applications. Biometric identification is where you use certain physical characteristics or features of the person to identify and authorize them and authenticate them to do certain actions, which would not be allowed for the general public. Examples of this would be facial recognition, iris recognition, and fingerprint detection. However, facial recognition has a huge advantage over iris detection and fingerprint det detection. <clears throat> One advantage is that facial recognition requires absolutely no additional effort or work on the part of the user. In iris recognition, the user has to scan his iris, and in fingerprint detection, the user has to scan his fingerprint. This comes along with additional overhead for the user, also with increased cost of specialized hardware, and also its associated failures. Whereas in facial recognition, you can scan a face just with a simple smartphone camera. But what is facial recognition? We know that every face has some unique features particular to that face. So if we can capture those particular unique features, we would be able to recognize a face from a known face and an unknown face. And if it is a known face, we could give it certain authorizations that we would not give a general unknown face. This is the gist of facial recognition. There is a very important distinction between face detection and facial recognition. Face detection is a simpler problem which boils down to a simple yes or no decision. The system would decide whether the image 2D or 3D which is provided to it is either a picture of a face or not. So if it is a headshot, a straight up or, a, or an angled photograph of a face, it would say yes. But if it is a picture of say plants or scenery, it would say no. Moving on to what is facial recognition. In facial recognition, an, an input face is mapped and matched to different faces in the known database. And it would, it would tell us if this face is a known person or an unknown person. So this answers a more important who decision question. So we will know if this person is someone we know or someone we do not know. Moving on to the types of face recognition, we have the local regions and the global features. In local regions, we have local feature analysis and Gabor wavelength. In local regions, we look at local aspects such as the eyes, the nose, the chin, the ears, the hair, to decide if we can recognize this face or not. In global features, we have the principal component analysis and the independent component analysis, which don't look at these features, but more of the relation in between these individual features on a more global level. Moving on to the Eigen faces method, here we use Eigen faces instead of regular faces. What is an Eigen face? It could be thought of as like a ghostly image this is obtained by having eigenvectors of the covariance matrix of the set of faces. It is a good efficient representation of the faces compared to the regular images. This is mainly because it can reduce the dimensionality of the images. Images can be thought of as 2D images of a set of points, but it can also be represented on a 1D plane as a vector. This is important because it increases the speed and effectiveness when we use the principal component analysis or the PCA. What is the principal component analysis? The principal component analysis builds M eigenvectors for an M by N range, and it helps find the principal components or the key data values of a face set. We find that 90% of the variances in the faces come within 5 to 10% of the dimensions. 
it also gives us a suitable representation of the phase space cluster. Now we will see a demo of facial recognition using the Eigen Faces technology as well as PCA. So here is our system. I'm going to first check what is the status of the database on this system. And we see that the database already has some images and some classes. I'm going to go ahead and clear this. And now we see that the database is empty. So let's go ahead and add a few individuals to our database. I'm going to add a couple of pictures of three various individuals from different positions, different lighting and different noise levels in their pictures. So this is going to be our first image. I'm going to say add image to database. I'm needed to give a class number to this image so it would know which person it is. So I'm going to call it this person number one, class number one. And I get confirmation that the image has been added to class number one in the database. This is the same person, although from a different angle. I'm going to add this one to the, to the database as well. Again, this person belongs to class number one. This is person two, so I'm going to add him to class number two in the database. I'm trying to build a known set of faces for my face recognition system database. So he belongs to class two. This is the same person with a different expression. Also do notice that he's wearing glasses. This system would be able to recognize him even if he were to remove those glasses. Finally, I'm going to add pictures of the third person. He belongs to class three. Finally, a picture of the third person from a different angle, belonging to class three. Okay, now if we look at the status of the database, we see that it has six images and three classes. We also learn that input images must have the same size. So let's go ahead and select an input image. From the picture, we remember that this person belonged to class one. Let's try face recognition on this image. And as it says, the nearest class is number one with a distance from the class as well as a distance from the overall face space. Now let's select somebody from class two. We can see that his expression has changed again. And if we say face recognition, it should say class two with some distance values of Euclidean distance. We can see that the nearest class is number two. And this is the distance from the face space as well as the distance Euclidean distance.
Finally, we should select somebody from the third class and see if it is able to identify him. If I do face recognition, I see that it has correctly figured out the class as well as the Euclidean distance. Moving on, we also have some visualization tools available to us. Now we can press zero to calculate the total mean face, and that is all the faces in the known database which are projected on top of each other. And this is what that looks like. You can see it is a rather ghostly image, and you can see the shade of person to his glasses, as well as the general shape and structure of all of their faces superimposed. On pressing 1, you can visualize the class mean face, which is the mean face of each of the three classes. So we're going to go for class 1's mean face first. And that looks something like this. You can see, although the two images are superimposed, they do look like the same person. Moving on to class 2's mean face. It looks something like this. And finally, class 3's mean face. You can see it's very much the same person. However, you can also see it's been two images which are superimposed on top of each other. And on 2, we can visualize the projection of an input image onto the face space. So we need to select an input image. So person 3 in this angle, and you can see that that has been projected onto the face space of all of them. I will be sharing the source code for this in the YouTube description below. In conclusion, I would like to say that we have studied facial recognition using Eigen faces and PCA. We have seen how it is a fast, reliable, easy to use and something with lower, fa lower false positives than many other techniques to do facial recognition. We have seen why facial recognition is important. We have seen the advantage of facial recognition over other biometric identification, like iris detection and fingerprint de detection. And we have also seen how facial recognition works by creating a mean a face for each class as well as a total mean face and projecting against that mean face and calculating if the Euclidean distance falls below a certain threshold, if the person is a known person or an unknown person, and we can authenticate accordingly. Thank you.